course of their lives and school had transformed or at certain levels of school. I had a, my primary school was so progressive. I still have a prize for environmental studies <laughs> dated, dated 1956, you know. And, and I've list, I, was, uh, I was giving prizes at a teacher's conference, in, or rather uh, a reward good teacher's conference down in Kent, and I heard all these marvellous things at primary school. And I had to say to them, I'm sorry, you've made absolutely no progress whatever in 65 years. <laughs> I had exactly the same experience, but that was extraordinary, unique, different. Um, uh, then, of course, I had the contrast of a pretty heavy-handed boys' grammar school, but equally one that had been humanised and transformed by a very remarkable headmaster, uh, one of the youngest in the country, was in his 30s, a man called James Boys, and he, I think, was the kind of person who isn't the leader of the school. He was seriously scholarly himself. He happened to be a very fine sportsman, rugby player, um, uh, but at the same time, he had an imagination.